Okay, here's the next part, the Bad Art Cherby. Zhang Xiao, Dong Zhou, Lu Bu, Huan Shao. And now we shall attack Wu. Juke Liang, Zhou Yu. Your fate must end here. Alright, as always, the intro. After successfully attacking Jin, Hao Kao and his men give chase to Lu Bei's forces, wiping them out. With this victory, one hero of the Three Kingdoms is vanquished, giving Cao Cao control of the lands south of Hebei, and an even stronger foothold in his quest for power. Cao Cao, with most of his forces in China's Central Plains region, turns his attention towards Jiandong, controlled by the Sun clan. In an effort to prepare against the powerful Wu Navy, Cao Cao begins training his fleet at Lake Zuan Wu. In 208, having sufficiently prepared his navy, Cao Cao and his fleet head for Wu. To deal with this threat, Sun Jian consults with Zhou Yu and his advisors in order to devise a response to the coming assault. Can Sun Jian and the Wu Navy repel the ambition of Cao Cao and his giant fleet? Alright, the equipment's the same, the weapon's the same, the items I'm going to leave them the way they are. Uh, the bodyguards are still at two. The conditions are the same. If Sun Jian is defeated, we win. If Sao Sao is defeated, or if I die, we lose and it's a game over. The unit info, uh, there's no changes. There's really no changes in general in this battle. I mean, very pointed out Sun Jian, and that's pretty much it. We did the intro, so let's do it. For Juge Leon, there should be a place of prayer in the southwest. We will stop his plan. All right, the first thing we're going to do is just drive all the way down, ride all the way down to where Lushun is. Let's see, is it Lushun? Yeah, Lushun. Every now and then, randomly, it might be Lu Meng, but today is Lu Shun. If we defeat Lu Shun, then the southeastern winds will not happen, and that's the main thing we want to prevent, are the southeast winds. They call me Gan Ning of the Bells. Let's play. Alright, so we're almost there. It's great to have red hair because it's one of the faster horses. Or it's the fastest horse, I should say. I've heard about you. This should be fun. Well, that's there goes the fire attack. I shall concede defeat for now.
Yeah, once you do that, everybody morale just... Well, every... Every general's, uh, enemy general's morale will drop. And that'll make it a lot easier from here on out. Okay, I don't care about attacking Ganning. Take care of these archers first. Yeah, let's grab that. And there's no way I should be getting crushed by Gan Ning at the moment. Alright, let's kill his officers first. Shu Huan first. I defeated an officer. Now Zhu Ron. I think that's everybody. Yep. Alright. Now let's finish off Gan Ning. Don't lag behind. Alright, so now we're gonna go all the way up and go around and defeat Taisha So we don't have to worry about the fire attack anymore. You pretty much could do whatever you want. But if for some reason you don't make it to the general in time and defeat him in time, you need to bolt and find because later on Dynasty Warriors, I think four or five and this four and five you will be able to see where the where the general sub offices are located but here you can't really locate one guy so you have to literally find him and if the wind happen you have to find him quick because if you don't then you you're screwed doesn't matter what level you're at you could be really screwed I mean if you're playing on hard you're really screwed. I mean, unless you're really good at the game, then yeah. I'm just talking about uh, objectives in general. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I see people that could actually just do be a one-man army and beat the entire level with just one officer left. And there was one time that I played in the past in Dynasty Warriors 4 where it was literally only me and my cousin. And we, fortunately for us, he was the commander, so that made things a little bit easier. But it was still very difficult. But, uh... Yeah, so now we're gonna go around, and I think I missed the... Uh, oh well, I'll go back and check again. Because I'm rambling, rambling. I think I forgot to grab the dim sum. If I did, I feel like I'm a complete idiot, especially when... I'm dead staring at the screen. I'm looking at the map most of the time. Alright, so... You know what? Let's start here. Oh, there's a... Whoever it is over here, let's, let's get him first. Jiang Quinn. Alright. That's one of Taishis' officers.
Oh, one other thing. When it comes to the fire attack, well, if you allow the southeast winds to happen, you could also defeat Zhou Yu. It makes it easy as well. If you can't find one guy, just go to Zhou Yu quick and defeat him as, instead. That's one of the three things. So in order to stop the fire attack, you have to defeat the general that's in the southeastern section, well, southwest section of the map. If not, then you have to defeat one guy or Zhou Yu. Take your pick. Doesn't matter who. Yeah, it'll be nice. There you go. All right, now Taisha Se. Here. I defeated an officer. Splendid. We must fight well. Nice try. Alright, so now we're gonna go down and defeat Han Dong and then Cheng Pu. Alright. Okay, that was a weird glitch. I don't know if anyone saw that. Apparently somebody was just running in the air. So now Han, yeah, Han Dong, because he's the only uh, one of two main uh, AI uh, generals left. Wow, that was a mouthful and a half. Alright, now it's Cheng Pu. And he will be over here. I believe. No. On the boat. Over here. On the right. Not this one. But the next one. There you go. Because we didn't defeat Zhuka Jin, he's retreating. If you defeat any officers, oh, if you defeat a general and officers st are still around, then they will retreat. You're a than I have heard. 
the officers would, would treat, obviously. Alright. Ling Tong. Lusu's next. I defeated an officer. Show the world our skill. Alright, Zhou Yu. Even though I'm strongly against facing him now, we should defeat Huang Gai first. I defeated an officer. Oh well. Retreat is the best plan here. It'll just make things easy on the way back. There's really not much left. All we have is Sun Jian and Sun Jian. That's it. Okay. Let's both of his officers retreat because we defeated him. So yeah, only person left is Sun Jian. And if you defeat Zhou Yu, a special item will appear. I think you also have to prevent the fire attack as well. Show them our strength. I mean, inside that, uh, well, once you go to that location, the special item that contains fire arrows, but we have already obtained that, so I'm not gonna get it again. That's how you do it. You have to defeat Zhou Yu, and I think you have to stop the fire attack. And... Let's see. I think... Yep, we did miss it. So, coming back here was worth it after all. Alright. So... Now we go back all the way down and defeat Sun Jian. I can't believe I missed that pot. That's what I get for rambling 24-7. I'm kidding, but you know what I mean. I'm looking at the map as well as looking at the character. So I'm really focused on the map. See what the, what's going on. So let's just finish this battle off and then uh, we'll move on to the next one. I think the only thing I don't like about this map is going through the different boats. Especially when you have, well, when I'm recording something, it makes my screen a tad bit darker. So I actually had to literally brighten up my screen so I can see where I'm going. We will not let them pass our army. I don't know if you remember in the past, I kept on running into stuff because I couldn't see where I was going. In this battle, in the Battle of Wuzhong Plains, and Wan Castle, every now and then. All right, now Sun Jian. My son, this is how a general fights.
Ow, 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 ow. He, there you go. Okay. I thought he was going to get health back. He's almost dead. Let's just not let him get health back now. There you go. Goodbye. There is no choice. I must retreat. And that's a win. Not gonna lie, I honestly thought I was gonna get screwed at the end. So let's see how long that actually. Yeah, okay. A little under 17 minutes. Not bad. It could be worse. So, items. Uh, we got a level 2 item, but let's see. Defense. Jump. Not to attack. Yeah, let's stick with the Newton one that we got. And this, obviously. If we got a level 2 uh, weapon, then we're not going to have to worry about level 1 weapon anymore. And the items. Yeah, obviously not promising. So, I'll KO count. 366, which is basically near double. No, it's not. Uh, double is 732. Okay, so a little on the double. Uh, we kept both of our bodyguards alive, and uh, probably get a good at least 6,000 points, maybe a bit more. Yep. 66, uh, 6600. And let's see here. I'm looking online right now. Let's see how you get the fire arrows. Oh, we got two mages. That works. Alright, we'll save. And there you have it. Um, fire arrows. Yeah. You have to defeat Joe Yu before the fire event or just prevent the fire attack in general then defeat show you that works all right anyway you've been watching my gaming adventures and i'll see you for the next part peace